welcome back to the Ubet channel. Wow! <laughs> and welcome back to another of my videos. If you guys aren't familiar with me, my name is <laughs> Yvette Santos. And please make sure to subscribe, like. Anyways, today's video is going to be um a best camera for YouTube video. So I'm going to be comparing two like super popular cameras that a lot of youtubers and a lot of makeup artists photographers use and i'm going to be comparing them i'm going to be letting you guys know um what i think my personal opinion and um if it's bomb or not or whatever the two cameras that i'm going to be comparing and i'm going to be showing you guys everything about both of the cameras what i like what i don't like which one is best is going to be the sony a5100 and the canon g7x which is the one i'm recording from now i'm going to be showing you guys how both of them record and um how both of them take pictures and all of that good stuff all of that good stuff make sure to hit that red button down below which is going to allow you guys to subscribe but if you guys are already subscribed then don't hit that red button because then you guys are going to unsubscribe so <gasps> wow Okay, so I'm recording right now from both cameras. I'm recording from the Sony A5100 and the Canon G7X. I'm going to walk around a little bit so you guys can see the lighting, how it looks. Please ignore um, the vacuum that you guys hear in the background because that is my brother being annoying. So for now, I'm going to be recording from both cameras while I talk because I want you guys to see um, everything, everything like the movements and how it records properly. So, um... Let me start off with my first camera. I just purchased the... I just purchased. I purchased the Sony A5100 camera back in 2016. I think I purchased it for... I don't know. I really think I purchased it for $600 around there. I just know that um, I bought it from Best Buy and I purchased a SIM card, the camera, and um, a stand for the camera because back in 2016 was when I was going to first start my YouTube channel. So I wanted to start off super professional and nice. Um, this is a highly spoken about camera, the Sony A5100, because all the like really famous YouTubers and makeup artists use this camera for pictures, for videos, like um, Jaclyn Hill and Carly Bible. I think that's how you say her name. Um, like all these really, really top-notch YouTubers use this camera. So I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna use it then. So, um... It came out to like $800, honestly, with the camera stand, the SIM card, and the camera. But I think the camera was like $600 back then, I think. Um, now, you guys can find it at Best Buy for $499, which is $500. I don't think that's really bad at all. I think it's really good. And for the quality of the camera and everything, it's really, really good. My camera, the Sony A5100, at the moment, broke. It broke maybe um, a month ago. And by broke, I mean like the flash doesn't work anymore. I can record, I can take pictures, but flash is super important to me because I take pictures where you have to see the details of my makeup and of all of that and flash is extremely important. So um, I decided to try a new camera out and I went to Best Buy and I was checking out all these cameras and the guy from Best Buy was like, oh well, this is a very famous camera as well. It's the Canon G7X. I did my research on it. I loved how the pictures came out. I love how people using the camera on YouTube, how, you know, it looked. So I was like, okay, you know, let me use it. And I've loved the Canon, the Canon G7X till this moment that I have had the camera, which maybe has been like three weeks. I absolutely love the camera. I almost think it's even better than the Sony A5100. The Canon G7X, I do have to say, it is more expensive than the Sony. I think by like $100 or $200 more, but I love it. It is so awesome. It takes great pictures. I think the picture is even more clear. When I record um, the, for YouTube and stuff, I feel like the colors are much more vibrant and stronger. I don't know if you guys can see this through um, me recording, but um, I really like it. I heard it's really good for vlogging. I, do, I don't do much vlogging. That, that's not what I um, really do on my channel, even though I should do a little more vlogging. But um, I heard it's really, really good for vlogging. So far, my YouTube videos that I've done, I think it looks so clear. The pictures also, I love it. I love it with the Canon G7X. It comes out so nice and clear. Um, same as the Sony A5100, but I, know, I don't know. It's just something a little bit different about it that I really, really like. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the Sony A5100 camera. This is how it looks like. 
okay so it comes in white and it comes in black i purchased it in white i thought it looked um i don't know so different clean my canon g7x is black though um and i think it only comes in black i think i don't know i might be wrong so this is how it looks from the front what i really like about these cameras about the canon g7x which you guys will see in a second and the sony a5100 is that it's pretty small so you can it's easy to travel with um when i go to vacation when i go out it's something easy to stick in your bag um i thought that when people said professional camera i thought that professional camera was those huge big cameras and when i see the sony a5100 when i received it in the mail back in 2016 i was like whoa this is small but if you guys think this is small, watch when you see the Canon G7X. It's way smaller because the lens is smaller than the Canon G7X. This, I feel like this is really big. This all, um, the Canon, the Canon, the Sony A5100, this camera also comes with a protector here, um, to protect the lens. But I lost it. That's one thing I don't like about it because with the Canon G7X, it kind of just closes, the lens just closes by itself. I don't have to have this little, um, protector for the lens which i lost and i think that's so annoying also i feel like this is really big really really big the bigger the better because it takes better quality pictures and you can always change this you can remove this and place other different lens on it i never did that because i never really cared i felt like it took really good pictures like this anyways when you want to take pictures with flash you just click this button right here which is right above if you guys can see it right here and there you are able to take pictures it's off right now but you can turn it on so the lens comes out and it becomes even bigger what it's really what's really really good about this is that the camera flips and that is a very important when you are looking for a camera that um, you want to vlog with and that you want to do YouTube videos with. You need to make sure that the lens comes out. Like that's the one of the first things that you should be looking for besides the price because um, you have to be looking at yourself. You have to see what you're saying, what you're doing instead of like not knowing what you're doing and then when you're gonna edit it or when you look at back at it, back on the camera, you're like, oh well, this is horrible what did i just do you know i have to refilm it now um this camera is super easy to use this is how it looks <laughs> it's me right there so um it has these buttons right here obviously you can play back of the videos that you just filmed you can throw it out menu it's very self forward it's also wi-fi so you can um send the pictures to your phone instantly it just takes a couple of seconds which i really like about it um it's very self um explanatory everything is super easy to use it's like the camera settings custom settings wireless like everything is in really good category so it should be very easy to use when you want to record you just click here which is movie that's what it says, movie, and then it starts recording. For the adapter, the the SIM card, everything's right here on the side. This obviously broke. And for the battery, it's down here. Now this camera also has um, also has this right here, where for the stand you can just um, like screw it in, you know with your hand and then you can just place it on the stand this camera has it as well i think all cameras have it um what else also to zoom in if you can see you can zoom in like this or you can zoom in through here so you have two ways to zoom in i don't think that i have two ways to zoom in when it comes to the canon um g7x i think it's only through this little thing right here that I can zoom in through the Canon G7X. So this is how the camera looks like. Okay, so now I'm filming on the Sony A5100 and I'm filming it so that I can um, speak about the Canon G7X. So this is how it looks like and it's way smaller than the Sony A5100. I think it's maybe the same size and length but the lens is way smaller so it fits in my purse it fits anywhere and that's what i really like about it that i just feel like i don't have to worry about this huge lens that the sony a5100 had um the back looks like that 
it flips. Now, when I turn it on, instead of it having a switch like the Sony A5100 that did, it has a button and it turns on. Then right there you can see me. <gasps> turn it around. It also does this. So you can like, I don't know, play around with it, play around with the screens, it like pops out or whatever. That's how it looks. This is the back of it. I feel like the, the, the Canon G7X has more buttons than the Sony A5100 because it has all of this, which I only use like, I only play with what I know. I don't go around and checking everything because I feel like it's a lot. Maybe it's not even that confusing, but I don't switch it. I click it, I, I keep it at the same exact, um, whatever manual or settings whatever you want to call it that it is in but you can like switch it around i don't really know i just keep it there um has much more buttons than obviously the sony a5100 what i did like about the sony a5100 that the recording part is like right up here so when i click record it's easy because i know exactly where it is it's not like i have to search for the buttons this one is all the way in the back so if i click the wrong button i can just click here um that's something i really didn't like about it also something about the Sony A5100 that I like over the Canon G7X that I feel like the Sony A5100, the autofocus is much more quicker than the Canon G7X. Canon G7X, it will get it. Like, it's not, I've, I've seen cameras that don't, that it takes a long time for you to see the autofocus because it's maybe perhaps not for that, or I don't know. But the Canon G7X, I mean, I'm getting all confused. The Sony A5100, it's like you put something right here and it just focuses right away. This, you have to keep it there for about 20 seconds, on like 10 seconds, and then it'll focus on it. So that's one thing that I don't like about this. It still gets it, so it's not that serious. Um, so the flash is here. And you do like this and the flash is there. Something I also like of the about the Sony A5100 than the Canon G7X is that as soon as you do this to the, to the Sony A5100, it knows it's flash. The Canon, like if you do this, you still have to go to the settings and click um, flash on so that it knows. So you still have to go to the settings and like click it, you know, it doesn't like automatically know. Um, the Wi-Fi button is right here. So as soon as you click that, that's it. Wi-Fi is on. Sony A5100, you have to like go through the settings and like click for the Wi-Fi. The battery and the SIM card is here. So this is outdoors and this is how the camera looks like. The Canon G7X and the Sony A5100. I'm gonna walk a little so you guys can see. So I do want to mention what comes inside of both of the camera boxes once you guys purchase them and unbox and all of that. So for the Sony A5100 camera, um, one of the things that it comes with is this protector that you can place around your neck and it allows the camera obviously not to fall because it'll be around your neck. So it's like a protection for it. It also comes with the USB. Um, looks like this it's like a usb cable that you can connect it to the computer and you can charge your camera through there as well as um download all of the pictures and videos into your camera obviously through here as well or you can just plug it into your wall with an adapter and you can also charge it like that um it also comes with obviously i told you guys in the beginning i lost a little protector for this but it comes with a lens protector um and it comes with the battery. This is how the battery looks like. Comes with a really thick battery. It's like a really fat battery. When you unbox the Canon G7X, what it comes with is a little wristlet. So instead of um, putting it around your neck, you can just hold it around your um, wrist. Also comes with a battery. 
the SIM card, SIM card does not come included with either the Canon G7X or the Sony A5100. I have two different SIM cards and that's how I'm allowing both of them, both of the cameras to work at the same time and you guys to see me record from both cameras. But um, I used one of the SIM cards that I had previously and I just inserted into the Canon G7X so I didn't have to purchase a new one. Um, it comes with a battery and it comes with a battery charger and I really like the fact that the Canon G7X not only comes with the USB cable for me to, you know, another way to charge it as well as to insert all my photos and videos into the, the computer but it also comes with its own charger. You see, I have a charger for my Sony A5100 that I had to purchase and... Uh, let me just let you guys know right now, this is not cheap. This is $50. I think that's super expensive, and especially since I lost one and I had to repurchase it because I left one of them in Dominican Republic so bad, and I had to repurchase it because if not, my camera wouldn't charge. I can also charge it, like I said before, through, um, through my computer or an adapter, like a plug on the wall, but something's wrong. Something was so wrong with my, um, on the Sony A5100 with like the plug, like the little, um, where I insert it, where I insert the plug. Something's wrong with it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it, the inside got damaged, but now like, it's just annoying. I feel like if it falls once with the Sony A5100, like something can easily break and I don't like that. Haven't dropped my Canon G7X, so I can't tell you if it breaks easily, but I know that every time it dropped or I don't know if something happened to it. Little by little, something would go wrong. Like it would just, I don't know, something would get ruined. So I like the fact that with the Canon, it comes with this and the camera, the camera, the, the battery is obviously, as you can see, much more slimmer and smaller. And I can just charge it and I don't have to worry about, oh, if the um, USB cable, I don't know, something's wrong with the, with the camera, whatever, like, the battery charge is always there, so I always know that it's always going to get charged. Um, I also do want to say that they are not making the Sony A5100 anymore. So that camera, Sony isn't making anymore. So what's there is there. I'm going to play some pictures for you guys of my uh, pictures I've taken with the Canon G7X and pictures I've taken with the Sony A5100 to compare. So you guys, based on my video that I have just filmed, you guys can see based on the things that I didn't like, the things I did like, which one you feel it's better for you. But for me, personally, after using both cameras, whew, I gotta catch my breath. I just ran upstairs, but um, I really like the Canon G7X. Okay guys, well this is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. I hope you guys um, enjoyed hearing my opinions and all of that and I hope I was being as detailed and I hope you guys can understand everything that I said but if you guys still have any questions please leave it down on the comment section below I will respond to all of you I promise I promise there might be things that I didn't say or that I forgot to say but um, I hope this was a super helpful video if it was please 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 give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe comment your thoughts questions anything that you want to put out there. I love you guys so much and thank you guys for watching. Bye!